My name is Amy Atkins. I'm a Kokobira woman from the Gulf of Carpentaria and my parents are um, Yomo Shaw and Woolly Shaw from Yarraba. Auntie Amy and I met in the early 60s at boarding school. We actually, I knew, actually knew, we knew each other's family, but I never actually physically met her until uh, boarding school at St. Gabriel's Charter Stowers. We just clicked the first day we met. Amy and I actually um, were involved <coughs> right from the beginning. We launched Trilba Park. We were there with the mayor. There are six plaques like this around Brisbane. Um, they were put in place in 1998 by uh, Lord Mayor Jim Sawley at the time, and they mark places where there were children's homes, where Aboriginal children who were taken from their families were held. So they are very important. Uh, and each year on 26th of May, on Sorry Day, we have um, a special ceremony at the Park site. Uh, this site, we have a dawn ceremony on the 26th of May each year. When I was 11, I was living in Babinda and was taken away by the government, who at that time, uh, under the Removal Act for Aborigines, they actually were able to do that. They could just take, if they thought you were being looked after, that's what the government did, they just removed you. I, along with a friend of mine, was sent away to a place called Palm Island and people would have heard about Palm Island. It was a, what they call a penal mission. And by that, I mean, uh, there were people that were sent to this island, Palm Island, uh, to be punished. Uh, if they, the government thought that they would be, you know, being um, good or, it, it could be a simple thing as not, you know, just argue with the authority. But the journey was such a long one. They took us from um, Cairns to Townsville, we were put into a, a hostel, an Aboriginal hostel. We were kept there for a couple of days because we weren't allowed to go anywhere. We were, we were actually accompanied by detectives as well. So we were in our, these are detectives that actually had guns with them. So, and then they took us over to Palm Island, which is just off the coast of Townsville. We started doing these ceremonies back in 2005. That first year that we had a ceremony here, uh, we had 15 people. And then each year, that number has grown and grown. Um, and really important in that has been the involvement of uh, Auntie Flo Watson and Auntie Amy Atkins. Auntie Flo came in 2006, and then in 2007, Auntie Amy came, and she became the, the chair of the committee, the Taralba Park Committee that looks after the uh, site and organises the ceremonies. Um, so that's grown each year and in 2011 we had around 200 people here. So from, two, from 15 in 2005 to 200 in uh, 2011 has been uh, tremendous growth and it's been great to see the level of involvement of the community and the way in which everybody has an opportunity to be involved in this. I always had an interest in Link Up, which is Link Up Queensland Aboriginal Corporation. Um, because Link Up actually assists Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people who have been fostered, adopted, removed or institutionalised um, to find their families as well. So uh, thank God with my family I, had, I knew where the connections were. My mother, I had still not seen her up to this point and I went to see the then um, Minister for Aboriginal Affairs, which is Pat Caloran, um, and asked him about my mother. And he said, oh, we'll see what we can do. Went out to see her. The first time I'd seen her for six years. And this little woman was wheeled out in this wheelchair. She was um, senile as well. She was going, they said to me, she's been here so long, she doesn't know who she is, but she's a, you know, and I told her who I was. I told them who I was. And they said, she hasn't spoken ever since she's been here. Um, I went to the shops and I said, I'll buy, I want to buy my mum something. So I came back with this <laughs> pair of pink fluffy slippers and I brought them back to her and the matron came running out and she said, Mrs Atkins, we've 
I said, oh no, what's happened to my mum? I thought she'd died. I thought something had happened. And they said, she spoke to us. And I said, what do you mean? And they said, she said, Amy's here. She said, it's Amy. I think she was just waiting for me to be there and see her. You know? If people feel they want to do something about the stolen generations, the simple thing that anybody and everybody can do is to find out where their local ceremony is on the 26th of May and to attend that ceremony and show their solidarity.